From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Saturday evening. Thanks for tuning in with us tonight. It is very warm across the area. Still, we've had this excessive heat advisory in effect for the past couple of days, and it has now been extended until 9 p.m. for your Sunday evening. And notice it includes every single county in our viewing area. High temperatures expected to be between 105 and 110 degrees once again tomorrow. So the heat isn't headed anywhere anytime soon. As we take a look from our NTS Tower Live Sky View, looking back to the north along Interstate 20. Notice on the horizon a couple of clouds to our north in the Texas Panhandle. Those are actually associated with a couple of showers up there. Actually have a new severe thunderstorm watch in effect for portions of Oklahoma. Severe thunderstorm warning now near the Pampa, Texas area. A few more showers back towards Clovis, but for the most part, notice we are dry here in the South Plains and we're hot too. Live and local temperatures do show that we're still sitting at 104 degrees this hour in Wolferth and in La Mesa still sitting at 105. So really warm across the area and again those temperatures aren't going anywhere anytime soon but we could see some of that rain make its way into our area tomorrow take a look at this as we head overnight tonight a couple of clouds to our northwest will be possible maybe an isolated sprinkle or two not out of the question but as we get into your sunday evening notice we will begin to see a few more showers and storms to our north and west those will begin to move through during the late afternoon throughout the evening hours bringing us the possibility of some gusty winds and some light rainfall no significant rainfall is expected with this event as it happens. But notice we do have a level one marginal risk for extreme northern and northwestern portions of the South Plains from Portales from a line all the way back towards Silverton. Again, it looks like the main wind, the main uh, damage threat tomorrow will be with those damaging winds up to around 50, 60 miles an hour, maybe some hail around pea size. Uh, but again, what we saw this past week at Joyland, some of those dry microburst winds is kind of what we're thinking will be the best possibility for your Sunday afternoon tomorrow. So we'll keep an eye on that and keep you advised here and on social media as well. But notice high pressure is not going anywhere, staying in fact building over our area over the next couple of days. Our average high this time of year at 93. Check out the forecasted highs here for the next couple of days. On Tuesday and Wednesday, we have the chance to either break or tie our record high temperatures. And we've also been seeing those record warmth uh, early in the morning hours as well. So with all of this heat headed our way, there are a lot of different heat, potentially dangerous heat things that could happen to you and your body. And we just want to remind you of those so that you can stay safe and healthy during this heat going on. It's best to know the difference between heat exhaustion and a heat stroke. And if you are a suspect to have either one of those going on, it's always best to seek medical attention. Just try to stay hydrated and stay out of the heat because it's going to be with us for quite some time over the next six to 10 days. Well above average temperatures expected here for West Texas, even extending on into the eight to 14 day outlook as well. So it appears July will definitely be a hot one for the year of 2020. Overnight tonight, those low temperatures will be near record levels once again, only getting down into the middle and upper 70s, even some lower 80s, not rolled out of the question there. Tomorrow, an isolated chance for a couple of showers and storms that will linger on into Monday and then another round possible on Wednesday. But check out the highs. We're going to be above 100 for at least the next seven days. Stick with us. Eric Kelly is up in Raider Raider Nation right after the break.